Hello everyone, my name is Shannon Crossin and this is my first ever Animal Crossing video. Now today I will be showing you my, around my island, it isn't really that good at the moment. And I will also be showing you some tips and tricks on how to play Animal Crossing as a beginner. So this is the entrance to my island. I got the idea from Pinterest. And yeah, I just really liked it, but I added my own path because I want my island to be very like pastel-esque and I feel this path goes really well with the snow. Now each season I'm going to change this bush. Now at the moment it's a holly and then in the spring it will be something else. I got this fountain in the middle because I wanted to um, have this kind of little middle section where you could just look at it go wow that's really relaxing or something and yeah I just really liked the idea there was a tree in the middle of the original one but I thought a tree was pretty boring as I've got a load of trees around my island and if you can see up here I got this little rule thing that I got from um, the little thing you have in Able Sisters, the little machine, I don't know what it's called, and um, it says no run, no shake, no pick, and I'll explain later why you can't really do these things if you are on someone's island. Now over here and around a bit, I've put a bit of Christmas stuff here, because as you can tell from the date, it's the 28th of December, this isn't when I'm going to actually upload it. And um, yeah, I've got some presents, I will come... I'll go up here first. I haven't got any arrows yet because I haven't really finished my island. I don't think I ever will. Uh, this is Ozzy. He's very cute. If you don't know who he is, he is a koala. He's quite cute. And then at the moment I've got a label and I kind of finished the task. She told me to do a sporty wear and I did it. And then I've got Fauna, Sterling and also Flurry. This is my area of my... Um, residential residential services and I just thought I could put a little like lake around it because I got the idea from Tiger if you don't know who she is she is like a big Animal Crossing um, youtuber I'll put a link down below if you don't know her and I put the tree there because I thought it looked a bit bland if it was just one big circle then I put some trees around the outside and I was going to make my um, flag, but I think I'll make that in a new video. And then if you can see from the top here, there's my nook crannies and there's also a waterfall because I really liked that, that because I restarted my um, island. I will do a video where I show my old island, but I just didn't like that I'd chosen the southern hemisphere because there's hardly anything there. Um, no offense if you've got it, I just personally didn't like it. This side of the island, I literally have nothing, so I won't show you that. <laughs> I'll show you that when I do my like Let's Plays or my um, speed builds, which I'll start doing, so make sure you check that one out. I did a little group of like cedar saplings because I didn't really want that on my island at the moment, but I knew that I needed baubles for the um, DIYs, so I just decided to keep this here. There's not many many around my island. Then I've got my free DIYs because trust me, if you pop a balloon and you're the same type as me, you're the same, you know, level as me, you end up getting 50 of the same that you've already got. This is just some spare uh, flowers because I didn't know where to put them and they kind of look a bit weird just scattered around my island but maybe in some speed builds I'll actually use them. Here's some of my um, Cosmos. I put these here because they're actually my original plants that or original flowers I actually had on my island and then I've got some red ones and some white ones. And then as you can see I've got some of the villager houses here, let me see who they are, oh here's also Stitches, oh I need to talk to her, actually I don't actually know their genders, so if you know their genders, I normally say they and them, 
as I just think of them as non-binary. So yeah, I just say they and them. Oh, I got a new reaction, that's good. As I restarted, I don't have all of the reactions I could have had. Um, just saying hi. I didn't mean to press there again. Um, who's this house? I think this is Bianca's, I might be wrong. It is Bianca's. She's home. And then, then I think this is Ozzy's house. Yeah, I've, I've been <laughs> near this part for a while. <laughs> Um, there's nothing really much else around here. I did, I'll go up here. This is kind of like a path. It doesn't really look very good, but I kind of had the inspiration from Froggy Crossing, if you don't know who she is. She is another, she's one of the friends of Tiger. And um, I'll put a link down below. And I kind of got this from her because she did a mushroom one, but I don't really want my island to be cottage core. I want it to be more pastel. So I decided to put some orange plants because I had a load of uh, orange trees because I had a load of those. Here's my shop for sale, which literally have nothing in it because I'm scared to drop things. Otherwise, I won't get a five star. But I'll um, say stuff about that later on. Also, I have this. It is a DIY table, the first one you get, and I just put it here because I was doing a load of DIY, loads of like builds over here and I didn't see the point of going all the way back to my house to you know build stuff and yeah I'll show you around here first actually no I'll show you this way uh, this is a ice skating rink I also got this idea from Froggy I didn't do it very well because I used um, I think it's bricks or something at the bottom when Froggy used sand. I don't know if that would have made any difference. But yeah, it looks very square. So I just decided to put these like uh, ice trees, I think they're called, to cover up my mistakes. Because you always have to cover up your mistakes. This is also a little stand. It's hot chocolate. I saw that Tiger did um, apple cider which we don't have in the UK so I just put hot chocolate because that's what we've got in the UK I don't know what hot apple cider is um yeah if you go sideways you'd be able I also got this idea from Froggy if you don't know I, I'm, I'm quite inspired by Froggy and um she yeah she did this like gatto thing but I didn't really want to do a gatto so I just decided to um just reindeers next to the house because I thought it was very aesthetically pleasing. Let's see whose house is it, house this is. Tangy's. This is Tangy's house and I thought it went very well with the orange and brown. And then I put this path down. I'll put the um, thing, I don't know what it's called, in the down below if I find it. <laughs> Sorry, I'm very new at this. And yeah. And then we go up this way. This, oh, I got a balloon. Froggy doesn't normally um, pop balloons, but I'm very desperate, so I do. Yay. What is it? Let's see what it is. Let's see what the present is. Also, I tried to empty out my storage because I didn't want you all to see how much of a mess I am. But you're eventually going to know this when you keep on watching my videos. Here's my house. I will not show you in my house because it is... Well, I will, but it's rubbish. Like, I, I'm kind of like Tiger in a way where I don't actually you know, do anything with my houses at the moment because I don't have any items. This is my elves. They're not elves, they're um, uh, gnomes, but you know, you get the gist. And it's like a little Santa's, like, workshop. I did have, wait, I'll put this here, wait. Santa's workshop. <laughs> now it makes more sense. But yeah, I put Santa's workshop around here. And also, if you keep on going down, you can step over like a little block to the residential area. Because I can't be asked to go all the way around to the entrance just to get to my residential services. Because trust me, I need to go there a lot because I do buy a lot of things. Uh, the next place I will go is my campsite. I haven't done a lot of that. 
I've got two little of these. I kind of just planted this here because I thought it looked good. It doesn't. And then I was going to put like bears or something here. So it's like a teddy bear picnic, which I'll probably do in a speed build when I do my campsite. I wanted to put this here for a pet dog, but I don't have any dogs at the moment. And yeah, this is my campsite. I'll show you in each episode if I actually get a guest who the guest is. But I'm rubbish at the game where you have to pick what colour card because I have a horrible memory. This is Sterling's house at the moment. I've just decided to put an exercise bike next to his house because he is kind of a jock kind of type. I'll explain um, later on what these certain like personalities are for these um, villagers. This is like, I just needed to get rid of some of the plants and kind of make it look good. So I put the flowers there. This is my Able sister, so I haven't really done anything to it other than put it up here so it's out the way at the moment. I think I might keep it here, but I might build around it. And this is my Nook Crannies as well. It's Christmas themed as it is Christmas. And I'll walk this way. Uh, let's go this way. Now, here is my museum, but I haven't really filled up a lot of the bones, so I wanted to put like a skeleton here of like an animal or anything, but I haven't collected much yet, so I'll do that later. And then, um, I tried to build the perfect snowman, but you can never reach. There you go, sad. Because I can never, I literally, the first ever perfect surf, um, perfect snowman or snowboy I made was the first ever one. Like, I think it was the 8th of December they came out. This is Stitch's house and I wanted to kind of make their house next to the beach and I wanted to put the sand castle and also I'm gonna put some designs down here in a future video. And yeah, I've got some toys, a little tent, a doll, because I think, when I think of stitches, I think of a load of toys in colour, because that's kind of what they look like. And I haven't really got anything on the beach, because I saw, I can't remember, I think it's Lexi Play. I'll put a channel down below. Or is it Lex Play? It's one of the two. And she made a um, whole a video, it was like 20 minutes long of her decorating a beach and I thought that's a really good idea so I thought I could do it in the future. This is from the Halloween stuff. I was on my old island when I had the Halloween stuff but I kind of got some from my friends. Yeah I've got like a group chat on Snapchat and I get my friends to kind of like help me with things as I restarted my island. And yeah, I just, I got the pumpkins, and I got a pumpkin over there, and some orange flowers. Then I got some pumpkins here, and also I've got a carving table, which I also got the idea from Froggy. <laughs> and then here's my little orchid. I didn't really, or the orchid, I don't really want to make a huge one, because I thought, now nah, I don't want to. But, um, I'll go down here. I also really like the idea of a diagonal bridge, which is why I put this here, because I love the look of them. <laughs> I don't have a lot of money. And I think I might change this up, because I used to like it, but I think I might change this. This is my cafe. It doesn't really look like a lot, because I don't really have a lot of stuff to do it yet. And... Uh, the next house I've got to is Divas. The plants are a little outgrown, which I might do in a video where I just clean up my island if you guys are interested in that, because it's very overgrown. Yeah, this is her house. I decided to put a lot of purple flowers, because she is indeed purple, and it just matches with her house. And I just put a gnome here, because um, it reminds me of my boyfriend, because I call him a gnome. Yeah, so that was some unwanted information. And I went up here, this is um, the pig's house, her name, I think her name's Maggie, yeah it is Maggie, and uh, it's also outgrown, 
all of it's outgrown and there is the pink flowers and also I had these like orange flowers which went really well and I got the silo as well and that would just look very nice and yeah I got some pumpkins because she likes planting I guess I don't know and I also this is for red but as I haven't spent a lot of money in the shop yet I haven't got him yet but I do have a little um, thing for when I do get him which is like a sand thing saying red was here and also I've got smiley face and some knots and crosses. The knots and crosses I'm going to put next to um, Stitch's house. This was going to be a teddy bear picnic but as at the time that I made this I didn't have, I wasn't a level 3 or I didn't have 3 stars. I just decided to use the Thanksgiving table and the setup and the chairs because I um, made them like just after Thanksgiving. And then I've got a load more like pears and oranges and different fruit because my friend gave me quite a lot and I wanted to use them instead of giving them to other people which I'll probably give them to other people I might have some giveaways this is a little area which I just like to sit and you know I think this is basically one of the only areas that I like so far because it's just very aesthetically pleasing and um, also this is my first ever model because I didn't know you could get models until I watched Froggy's account and also Tiger's. This is Fauna's house. I wanted it to be very simple so I had this path which to be honest I don't really like so I might change. And then I just thought she would be kind of like a caring, loving neighbour so I put her some like washing stuff. And also I wanted to use some of these because they look really nice on other people's islands. So I wanted to add it to mine. This is just a little bit that people have on their islands just to like separate it. This is also very outgrown but this is Flurries. I put this lighthouse here because I thought it would look good next to like this little cafe area because I thought that Flurry would be very social. She's not very social, but you know, I could just pretend that's her personality because to be honest, I'm flurry, I'm not very social. And I wanted to put this here because I really do like the barbed wire fences that they have on here. And also I made a little like waterfall because I thought it looked very nice. So yeah, that's pretty much the end of my um, island tour. So So this is the inside of my house, it doesn't look very good but I kind of decorated it for Christmas. Uh, I think we'll go in this one, I don't think there's any, there's much in here, I might be wrong. I think it's my kitchen so I don't really, oh I do have lots in it. Um, yeah, I have a bin to throw stuff away. I have this little like thing that looks really cute. And I have this oven which looks very, my kitchen looks very bare at the moment because I don't have enough money to buy like the huge kitchen tables or the huge kitchen counters. Then I have a fridge which makes it seem really funny when you click on the ch um, fridge and you can get changed. Which is hilarious. And then I also use the Thanksgiving table to put my Yule log on and a kettle. Or a teapot and also the casserole you get with Thanksgiving Day or is it Turkey Day and this is the water thing that I get hydrated with you know here is my little DIY thing where I put my spare DIYs and also I have my money my bank which is really funny because also if you click on here you can also get changed which is weird but uh, it's kind of cute at the same time let's go back upstairs I definitely know what's upstairs that's my bedroom not very keen on it I don't really like the colors I want it to be all pink but I it's really hard to get pink items and pink and red would be fine I got this little like this um, wallpaper from um, 
the nook crannies and I also got oh I got everything from nook crannies but I wanted a little dollhouse because I never actually had a dollhouse when I was little I had one that I shared with my like mum's cousin's daughters but that's about it and then you've got the little thing the record player but I don't have any of his songs yet because I want to collect them all actually I think I do have some of his songs but I just can't be asked to put it in yet and then you've got this, uh, you know, the wardrobe that you can actually get changed in. That's pretty much it for my island tour. So, that's pretty much it for my island tour. So, I think I should go on my daily checklist. So, the fir first thing I do when I come out of my house, and after I've gotten changed, obviously, I um, normally check my mailbox to see if there's anything in here. There isn't, so that's all right. And then I just go around and talk to my villagers. Let me try and find a villager to talk to. So, because if you don't talk to your villagers every, like every day, they get very like a grumpy and they just want to leave which isn't good because you want to unless you don't like one of your villagers you want all of them to stay and then the next thing you do is you go into the oh there, there's stitches let's see if we can talk to them hello again so what do you I want to know first hmm? you into sports what else are you into? I'm into, if you don't know already, and you probably will unsubscribe if you know. No, just kidding, you won't. K-pop! Oh, that's not how you spell K-pop. I'm not, as everyone else is, and I'm not very good at typing on, um... I'm not very good at typing on Nintendo Switch, because it's just, it's so much easier to type on your phone. He, oh, they dig K-pop so much. What's your favourite good group stitches? I reckon it'll be, um... You seem like a shiny person. I think you're a shiny person. Now, if you don't know what my island call is called, because I haven't actually told you yet, it's called BTS Island. And I want my tune to be Butterfly, because I had that on my old island, but I can't seem to find it. So if you find it, send it to me on Instagram. My Instagram is Shannon Crossin. I post stuff once a while in a while when I remember to actually take photos of my island so after oh I haven't actually showed you how to check the rest um, the recycling bin basically you recycle you check the recycling bin by going into your next your um your services and then you go here and this is the stuff. I don't really like the stuff, so I think after every month, I think, it resets. Actually, oh, I like that bit, so I'll put it in your pocket. Put it in your pocket. Or if you don't like it, just give it to your islanders if you think they'll like it. So, yeah. Also, one thing that you do is also go in onto here. And if you are, um, if you're here for your first, like, time of day, like in the morning, in the afternoon, whenever you log on, it will say that you've redeemed or you've got some um, nook miles and it will change every time you come on so it'll go up unless you time travel then it won't it will just stay at 50 miles um the next thing you should do is check your beaches for the recipe if you don't know what the recipe bottle is it's basically you walk around your island i currently haven't picked it up There you go. I found it. Here's the message bottle. It's called a message bottle, but I call it the recipes. So you go here, and then you go on, and you press open, and you see what you get. So I've got a classic library wall, which is really is really good because I don't have it. So yay, I got it. The next thing you do is check for island visitors. So this is basically, so my one is label, but it will be around. You've got different ones like label, you've got leaf, 
you've got the guy, person that goes around with the carpets and then every Sunday you have turnips. You can sell your turnips for like money, but it will depend on the interest and stuff. It's very good. I don't really get into turnips because they normally get rotten by the time or I even forget to actually go there on um, Sundays because I'm quite busy on a Sunday morning. The next one is complete nookmal. Um, nook what you do, you go onto here and then you click on the plus button and then you complete these. So you've got the hot item of fortune which you can go into the shop or outside the shop. You can click on the little like sign that's outside and it will tell you or you can go in and ask either Timmy or Tommy. So this one's spend and buy stuff, which I'm very good at doing because I spend a lot of money. And yeah, that's pretty much it. It will tell you at the side um, how many Nookmal tickets you have. Just so as you know for when it goes up and there's quite a few of them that you can see that I've done quite a lot of. The next thing that you do is water your flowers, which I do not do. I did use to water my pumpkins, otherwise they wouldn't have grown into free. But other than that, I don't really water my plants. You can if you want to get into a certain routine, but you don't have to. The next one you do is hit rocks. Basically, you get a shovel from your, um, your nook crannies, or you can just... Um, make one so basically i got taught this you this is a kind of like a cheat way of doing it so you get your shovel and just so because if you um get knocked off and you forget well you get knocked off and you kind of um lose your balance then you won't be able to get like hit the rock again so as this is near a path, I can only put one, but you normally put two, one diagonal and the other one diagonal. And you just turn around, if I can turn around, and hit it like this. However, if you hit this a certain amount of times, quite a lot, then you can, um, then you will break your shovel, which isn't good. But it seems like as I'm near a the um, cliff I can't get all not all um, eight of them so that's not good but make sure that you haven't eaten fruit before you hit your rocks otherwise they will break and you'll have to wait a whole day for them to come back so try not to do that the next thing you want to do is shake your trees however this is a very big life hack and this is to have your nets just in case a wasp comes because you always know when you shake your tree and a wasp come down you're, you're, you're running you're running really fast and you know it's still gonna hit you so yeah you shake your trees nothing came out of that one normally um, they don't come out of fruit trees it normally just comes out of normal trees like cedar or just normal saplings it will not come out of the fruit trees and you can, out of the trees, you can get DIYs, no you can't, you can't get DIYs, you can get items, you can get money, and you can also get insects, and you might get the few um, wasps, but just try and catch it with your net. Now the fe next thing you want to do is go to the beach and pick up shells, because these shells you can use for like mermaid DIY things. So if you pick these up, make sure to pick them all up. I don't really pick them up at the moment because I don't have any mermaid DIYs, so there's no point. But the next thing you want to do is find the golden spot. Now I think I found the golden spot today. I'll try and have a look. Oh, look at Ozzy sleeping. That's cute. Uh, try and find the golden spot if you don't know what that looks like. It's kind of like a thing that's glowing out of the ground. And it will come every single day and I think it takes about three days for the money to come up. You can put in about, I think the highest is 10,000 you can put in. The next thing you want to do is dig up fossils. If you don't know where the fossils are, there should be little X's in the floor, like, oh, little stars. And what you do, you get this and you pick it up and then you give it to um, Blathers. If you don't have the museum yet, then make sure you have the museum. You give it to Blazers. Blavers, 
and you kind of get them assessed. I'll show you how to do that now. And then Blavis will tell you who it is, um, like what what thing it is, and then he'll give you like to see it, if it's highlighted, like if the bones are highlighted, then you know that it's not in the museum, and if they're not, then you can just sell them or put them in the mark. I always make sure that I have sold all of the ones that I haven't got to Blavers, just in case I can't get them again. So you have to go through this, and then if you want um, Blavers to tell you a whole entire paragraph about what it is, then you can do that, but I personally don't like that. I did it at the start because I was curious about it, but now I, I don't really care. So he says, oh look, the woohoo, it's, it's uh, that one skull, yeah. So if you see a little balloon, make sure to pop it, but make sure you do not pop it near some water, because that present will go in the water and your um, person will have a very funny reaction. The next thing you should do if you are new and even throughout is go fishing because so you can put it in your museum or you can sell them. So I'm not very good at fishing. Also you can buy bait for your fish which I don't do but you go like that and then if it's underwater then you press A. I found a stone which is very useless but you know sometimes you get not, not annoying things. Now the next thing you should do is go bug hunting. I have, have seen that there aren't as many bugs in the winter. However, there are dung beetles that tend to um, kind of roll the um, little balls you have before you make the horrible snowman like everyone else does. And yeah, you get the bugs, you just get your net and swipe. The next thing you want to do is go clam hunting or go diving. And then the second thing, or the f kind of joint things you want to do is plant some f f um, flowers because if you're under, um, if you're under three star then planting flowers is a really good way of actually, um, if you're under three stars then planting flowers is like a really good way of um, actually getting, well one getting money from picking it and two also getting a, a stuff free star and then um, the other thing is to plant trees because that will be in your um, nook mile like daily nook mile things and then the last thing you should do is go into your villagers houses when they're there kind of like this and if you are lucky they could be making something on their DIY tables and you could get a DIY, which sadly Maddie is not doing. But yeah. Also, um, villagers who are kind of like you saw then get very annoyed if you go into the house and just leave. But I felt very disappointed that she wasn't making anything, so um, she deserved it. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Uh, yeah, so... Anyways, that's the end of my video. I hope you liked it. Oh, I f no, yeah. I hope you liked it. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment your favorite villager. My favorite vill villager is Lyman. He is like a green and yellow koala. He is a jock personality, and he is just very cute. But I haven't managed to find him yet. So if you want to um, see more of me, make sure to follow my channel Cross in Instagram. And also if you want to see me in real life, or you know, see my actual face, then make sure to subscribe to my other channel, which is Shamnexo Louise. Okay, bye.